way to the uh, second uh, forward operating base when I was hit by approximately 200 pounds of military-grade explosives. I seen the light flash before I heard the sound. When I heard the sound, the pressure of the explosion from the bomb knocked me into the bed of the truck. Taliban doesn't just hit and run. So when they blow the truck up, that's their way to get the convoy stopped. And that's when they attack you. When they pulled me from the vehicle, that's, that's when we realized, you know, my, my legs are, are gone. Just like the veterans we serve, we see our role at Homes for Our Troops as a military mission. A mission to build high quality, specially adapted homes for our most severely wounded veterans and their families. We build homes that give back the freedom and independence the veteran once enjoyed prior to their injuries. We build homes that allow the most severely wounded veterans total access to all home functions without the need of a full-time care provider or family member. We build homes to help the veteran reintegrate back into their family and to reintegrate back into their community. Our motto is building homes and rebuilding lives. People considered the war over when the returning veteran got off the ship or the plane or the train back in the hometown, but we've realized that it's not over until they're fully integrated back in communities, back at school, back at work, back at home with their families. Today we have built more than 100 homes for a very special group of veterans who have given so much for America. When you look at the homes that we are building today, you will find quality, craftsmanship, and commitment. Quality in the materials that are donated or purchased, craftsmanship from local contractors and tradesmen, and commitment from the community that we partner with to support these veterans and their families for the years ahead. Every volunteer that came out, every workman put in every ounce that they had, and we couldn't thank them enough. The accessibility that Neil's going to have from room to room to room, the peace of mind knowing he can get through the doors, he can get to our kids in a moment's notice if need be. We don't have to worry about what happens in 20 years when Neil has to use his wheelchair every day. Our mission is to build homes. We want to do more. We need your help. Our goal is to build 100 more homes, homes that are needed right now by our severely wounded veterans and their families. Veterans who want to care for themselves and care for their family, just as they did prior to their injuries. We're, all, we're still in shock. I mean, it's hard to believe that this is happening and some, something this amazing is happening to me and my family. This whole, this whole experience of Homes for Our Troops and all these volunteers that are out here, it makes a world of a difference emotionally for, for somebody like me to receive this great gift. It's, it's a house and my family's gonna make it a home. They've stepped up to defend us and it's our turn to step up and help them.